In this video, we're going to cover text transformations in Power Query. We're going to start off talking about change in types, then merge and combine, then format and replace. And finally, we're going to look at creating conditional columns and then grouping those columns. So this is the data set we're looking at today, a very simple sales data set. I'm going to data from table range, which will bring us into Power Query. And first of all, I just want to show you where the text transformations are in Power Query. So in transform, uh, there are certain text transformations in here. So we've got split, format, merge, extract, and parse, and they will transform the column in place. We also have replace values and fill. In add column, you've got format, merge, extract, and parse. And the only difference here is this will create a new column if you do anything with them. So the first thing we're gonna look at is changing types. So in Power Query, the automatically applied steps changes your types already, but these have been changed to numbers and I want to combine these. So I'm going to change them back to text to concatenate. So you can just go down and change them into text. I'm changing the ID and the order ID into text. You just replace the current column and that's changed that into text. So I'm going to press control. I'm going to select the two of these and then up there, I'm going to select merge columns. And for these columns, I'm gonna put in a custom separator, but first I'm just gonna name my new column sales ID. Then you can go down to custom, and then you can just put a dash in here. And I press okay, and I've got my new sales ID column, which I can bring over to the left. And then I'm just gonna delete the columns that made that in the first place. I could have done a transform here, but I just wanna show you every single externality of this. So I've turned these two to remove, and now I wanna break out the zip code from the purchase address. So this is a job for extract. So with extract, you can take the length, the first characters, last characters, or range, but normally what we do here is text after delimiter. So you can see that there's two commas in here. So I always wanna take after the second comma. So I need to go to advanced options and skip the first comma and that'll take the zip code because that's in after the last comma. So you can see my zip code out there and we're gonna use this for grouping later on. So I'm just gonna call this zip code and now I can go on to my next transformation, which is in product. And this one is going to be replaced, but I just quickly wanna show you format. So with format, we can reformat this to lowercase. We can format this to uppercase. There's trim and clean as well, but normally you're formatting to capitalize each word. So with this in place, I can go up into replace values. And in replace values, what I can do is I want to break out the brands here. So I need to replace the values of some of my products with the brand of that product. So I want to find ThinkPad and turn that into Lenovo ThinkPad because Lenovo is what I'm going to break out into a brand later on. So I'm going to do this with Lenovo ThinkPad and I'm also going to do with the Apple projects. So MacBook turns into Apple MacBook. And now with this in place, I can break out my branded columns. So how I can do this is I can add a conditional column here and this is looking for the brand within the column. So it's a new column called brand, a conditional column. And then I'm going to add a couple of if else if clauses. So if the product contains the brand name, I'm going to change the brand column to that brand name. So number of brands in here, starting off with Apple. So if it contains Apple, the brand is Apple. And then if it contains LG, uh, I'm going to change that to brand LG and down through my different brands. I think I've only two more brands in here altogether. So they are Lenovo, which we saw with the ThinkPad and then Bose. And the beauty of this is that you can kind of change what's in your product and then you can go and make a new column with that. So you can use two of these transformations together. And the last thing I'm gonna do here is just gonna, if there's none of those brands, we'll just change it to no brand and that's a category on its own. So when I press okay, the brand will come out here and now I've got the two columns I want to group on. So this is a quite a large data set. I think there's 150,000 rows, but what I want to do is I want to group by two of those rows and do a summation of the values. And you'll be doing this a lot in Power Query. So in advanced in group by, and it's advanced because I want to add more than one group, I'm picking brand and zip code. And then in the aggregation columns, I wanna count the number of rows which are made up of each brand and zip code. 
and then I want to do an aggregation of the sales number. So I'm just doing a sum in here on the sales and I'm going to press OK and this will change my entire data set to just that group by and this is what I want to take out into Excel. So I've got my brand, my zip code, my number of sales and my sales and then I just close and load this to uh, and this is going to be close and load to a table in Excel in a new worksheet and there is the result of all my text transformations in there. So very simple use case but you could see the power of all these text transformations and then we can go in look at each brand and see what the sales are and what the sales amounts are. I hope you found this video useful. Follow the channel for more Power Query videos.